Hello, it's Monday the 10th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So Jeremy Hunt's been on. Uh, the Chancellor admitted that the current economic conditions in the UK make any tax cuts in his autumn statement unlikely. Without any tax cut bribe for the electorate, it'll be more of an uphill battle for the Tories in the general election. And remember, that election has to happen before January 2025. Where Sunak pledged to halve inflation by year, uh, year end rather, uh, achieving that cabinet pledge for about 5% inflation by Christmas will be hard enough without Hunt adding billions to the demand side of the economy with any tax cuts. So perhaps the Tories will be well advised to regroup over the summer recess and try and find another way to chip away at Labour's lead in the polls if they are to avoid an extended period on the opposition side of the House. Non-Farm Friday was a belter. My thanks to everyone who played along. Only 209,000 new jobs were created, which was much lower than expected by the forecasts and by many of the bids. We only had a handful of bids for the winning team, which was to be expected as it was only the second win for hashtag Team Under this year. It was the third win for Paul Betts, though, which granted him GOAT status after a stewards inquiry. Yes, there have been others who have taken the top step three times, but those wins have been shared. So, despite best efforts in snitching to the stewards, (coughs) Michael Brown, Dems the rules. Um, And on a weekend that saw me in the Haas garage at Silverstone, in the spirit of F1, if Hamilton can get over Abu Dhabi in 2021, you, my friend, can get past this. Uh, On that note, massive shout out to Richard Rawlinson and the Transfermate team for the hospitality and a genuinely world-class experience. Uh, If you're into F1, I'll add some photos in the comments for you to salivate over on your Monday morning. Uh, But back to business because non-farm payrolls might present the Fed with a bit of a quandary. Um, Had the number been at or above forecasts, a rate hike uh, at the next meeting was all but guaranteed. Uh, But with a downside miss, this could be uh, reflective of how the economy is beginning to catch up with the earlier rate hikes in the cycle. At the very least, uh, they should have serious discussions about perhaps extending the pause by a another month. Data-driven decisions and all that. Am I right? Um, In the market last week, the dollar found its feet and the dollar index found support around 102.20, although it lacks any significant drivers to test the highs from earlier in the year. Uh, And sterling topped out the week around 128.50 against the dollar. Uh, We kick off the new week from around Uh, around the 128 level against the dollar. We're about 116.90 against the euro. Um, And euro dollar is around 109.55 on the open this morning. That's it from me. Have a great week. I'll be back tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.